Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, Mr. One Only, Bronco Knight himself, and um, I apologize for not having any uh, content up for a few week for a few weeks because um, one the the upgrade kits I was waiting on never showed up, and I'm not exactly sure why. And I even contacted them to see like what the heck was going on. So. Anyway, um, a, a couple days ago, or not a couple days ago, a little about a few weeks ago, I did on my podcast channel <clears throat> about my, about like what's upcoming for the, um, for the channel. Um, by the time that this gets out, um, it's going to be March 11th, um, about 24 about 14 about 12 hours 24 hours before I leave for my uh, trip to go to Dallas so um, yeah I'm also gonna be doing a um, a video about my trip coming up so you guys will be able to see that here on the channel as well and um, I also want to give a big thank you to uh, Peyton from Walmart who helped me out uh, getting my new phone and I absolutely love the phone so um, big thank you to my good friend um, it was an honor meeting you and you know um, <clears throat> before we get into the um, review with the uh, figure I have right here um, some of the one of the biggest figures that I'm really looking forward to doing here on the channel is the um, the leader Megatron from the Bumblebee movie concept art. Now, I already have it on pre-order, so hopefully it'll be here really soon. As well as the um, the new uh, Shockwave that we were introduced to. But beyond that, um, I don't have anything else to say. So without further ado. Let's take a look at the Studio Series Deluxe Class Nightbird. Alrighty, so here we have Studio Series Nightbird. And first off, I want to say that, you know, um... I've really been looking forward to finally having having her here on my channel. Um, I actually had to purchase her off of like eBay, I believe, or no, not eBay, uh, Amazon, because I could not find her anywhere. It was just like with my um, Optimus Prime one that I will. Um, Add on to this ep on to this episode so that we guys can check that out. Um, he was one of the um, upgrade kits I'm waiting for. Um, there's a couple of upgrade kits I'm actually getting for Optimus Prime plus the um, Scourge that I'm supposed to be getting here. But like I said, it's taking a lot longer than what's supposed to. So. Um, Let's see what this box is all about. So you have a nice official product shot of Nightburn, and I'm not gonna lie, like she looks pretty slick. And as you can see, we it, she is Nightburn, obviously. Go figure. Uh, Terracon. Yeah. So this will literally complete the uh, the trio of the uh, the Terracons. From Battle Trap, Scourge, and now Nightbird. Uh, here's a nice side image of her. Um, here we have the official obligatory product shot and her uh, robot and vehicle, and she converts in 21 steps. Um, she is a uh, Nissan. What was that? Focus. A Nissan Motor Corporation. Oh, must be a sports car. I believe that's what it is. Anyway, go figure. 
I'm pretty sure you guys will literally let me know down in the comments like what kind of car it is. And it's actually uh, officially licensed. So that's actually like really nice. Um, here we have the one sentence bio that reads Nightbird and the Terracons fight back the Autobots to steal the Transwarp key. Now, in my Scourge review, I talked about about how the um, like how like it talked about like with the with the museum scene and a little bit of background. The Terracons are find are trying to find the Trans Warp key so they can bring it back to their master, which is Master Unicron. And I've seen the movie, like, I don't know how many times I even purchased it. And, you know, it's one of, one of my favorite movies, so I really enjoy it. I don't, like I said, I don't care what anybody says about the movie. It's a heck of a movie. And, you know, Stephen Capel Jr. really knew his stuff. He really knew his stuff. And... Thank you once again to Mr. Stephen, Ka Stephen Capel Jr. for bringing us that masterpiece. To actually bring in the the Unicron himself. Not the one from the last night, but Unicron himself. I am blown away by that. So, without further ado, let's get her out of the package and see how cool she really is. Alright, so we have Nightbird out of the packaging, and first and foremost, I do want to say that um, this one is a little more of a better representation as to how she looked like in the movie. Now, granted, we didn't get we didn't get Nightbirds like later on in the year, way after Rise of the Beast got released here in the United States, so... Um, and I will say that I like this one a heck of a lot better than the other one, and I'll be getting those, and I'll be showing you off those details here in a few moments. So, and that's going to, like, I'm going to be showing that in during the comparison. I'll be giving my little thoughts about that, but anyway, let's bring her off to the side right now, and you have a nice little backdrop of the pillars at the museum scene where the Autobots consist of Prime, Bumblebee, Mirage, and RC going to try to find a trans warp key so they can back the Cybertron. In order to do so, um, they had to get the help of uh, Noah Diaz to go in there undetected so that way they can actually retrieve the uh, trans warp key and you know get back to the world and oh I almost forgot um, it's number 104 in the studio series so oh that was perfect <laughs> anyway so here we have Nightburn in her glory let me bring the camera down just a little bit let me There we go. So, as you can see, here she is in her robot mode. Now, I'm not going to lie. Like, it has a lot of really good detail going for her. You got a nice little head sculpt right there. Now, I will say, like, I'm not a big fan of how the backpack looks, but then again, I think that's something they had to do so they can get the, so, because I mean, with, with these kind of figures, they have to put the stuff somewhere. So, I think it would make sense to, to kind of, like, make it look like so. I mean, yeah, like, it, it's not bad, but it's, even though it doesn't look that bad, that doesn't too good, but it's also not that bad either. 
Um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the purple is actually coming in pretty good here on the figure. And you also have the wings on here, which there is an upgrade kit that's coming out for for Scourge, Battle Trap, and Nightbird, which I will be showcasing when that when that comes out into the um, into production. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually see that, but let me see if I can zoom in. Nope. Okay. Well, anyway, so there, there's a Terracon symbol right here on the front of the car, which I will be showcasing when it hit, when it goes into a uh, vehicle mode. So, um, head can, so there's really good, nice molding detail, like right here at the, um, at the legs. And for the most part, like the feet is the exact same as the, um, as the one from my regular Nightbird, which I will be showcasing in both vehicle and in robot. So that way you guys can actually see what this what this one's all about. So articulation is that his arms, her arms can go a full 360 and can go out that far in. And there is, you can actually turn it like right here above the elbow. Uh, night, you can get a little over 90 degrees right here at the elbow joint um, no a little bit of a waist wrist waist movement due to transformation um, oh yeah um, I should also mention too that sometimes the backpack does not want to stay on properly but it's I'm not sure why but I think that's just how it's whoops now if you guys want me to do like a a reverse transformation on some of my figures let me know and I will be more than happy to do a reverse one but I'm pretty sure you guys have seen so many out there that you're like oh okay so that's pretty much how it goes um, legs can go back that far before stuff gets in the way um, it can only go about that far before stuff gets in the way so it's really limited so you get a double hinge so you get like one hinge here and one hinge here which can get some really good poses, but I don't recommend doing that as much just because you can damage stuff. Though I haven't heard of anything being busted. Um, and this is where, like, you can actually store the weapon or the uh, the sword. And let me see if I could pull that off. It's actually in there, Sug. Okay, so. All you have to do is just insert it right here, like so. And here we go. And just see if I can get a good standing pose. There we go. So that's basically pretty much what you get with the packaging. Now, I kind of wish they would bring another sword, but you know that comes with the upgrade kit that's coming out sometime in a couple sometime here really soon so um for so for the head movement it can only move left and right as i was demonstrating earlier i didn't get a chance to say that but um i mean overall i really like how this one turned out like is it perfect no but do I like this one better than the mainline? Absolutely. And you got some like really good detail like right in here. So. 
so yeah whoops come on stay there we go okay actually no let me bring her back to the center but yeah there you have it for robot mode alrighty so now it is time for some comparisons so I'm gonna be bringing her off to the side right here <clears throat> and as I was saying before we're gonna be showing the differences between the two yeah um <laughs> um yeah like i said before i maintain my opinion of having of this one be my personal favorite over this one i mean i mean granted this one was a mainline toy so at the time we didn't have this one so at the time it was a pretty one to go with so yeah anyway Here we have Wheeljack from the Bumblebee movie. Here we have Dark of the Moon 44 Optimus Prime. And to be quite honest, I kind of would like to see the Terracons take on this version of Optimus Prime. I think they would be, I think that'd be like one heck of a fight, don't you? <clears throat> Let me know in the comments down below if you, if you think that'd be cool to where a alternate universe Prime meets up with the one that we have here. Speaking about Prime, here is the Buzzworthy Bumpy Optimus Prime. Oh yeah, and that's also the, uh, the blast effect that came with the, uh, gun, with the, gun I got and there's an upgrade kit that's coming for him so please stay tuned for that I'm hoping to get that when I come back from vacation and for this one I'm actually gonna be doing a group shot just because it's actually part of the triage so let me actually raise the camera up just a little bit because this frame is going to be Right there. Whoops. So <clears throat> there is Battle Trap and Scourge himself, and that completes the Terracon pack. All in Studio Series form. I think, in my opinion, that actually looks kind of cool. Now, my now, like I said before, these three are going to have a special are going to have a special um, upgrade kit that I will actually post right here on the bottom left hand corner, like right about here, so you can actually see that. I know, all three of them. And by the time that the by the time that upgrade kit gets here, Scourge will already have an upgrade kit on him, so um hopefully we can see that. So there's that. Alrighty, so I guess the only thing now is, that's left to do is the transformation from robot to vehicle. Now, I looked at this when I transformed it, it's like what? It's almost the exact same transformation as the mainline Nightbird. So if you're familiar with it, then obviously um, it's pretty much the exact same concept. However, if you're not, or if this is the first one that you're actually buying, let's do the transformation so that way you can actually see. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to grab this, pull it off to the side. You're going to want to pull those down 
And what I like to do is I like to extend the arms out just a little bit. And then keep them like so. What you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to unpeg this. There's a little tab right there. You're going to unpeg it like so. And then you're going to move these wings right here. And then you're just going to leave like so for right now. Actually, no, you're going to pull it down like so, matches like that. And you're going to pull this out just like so. And then you're going to extend this down. What you're going to do is you're going to rotate this 180. And stuff gets in the way like crazy, so um, bear with me on that one. And for the time being, just leave that out of the way. So what you're going to do next is you're going to pull the hood up. You're going to extend that out. Pull the hood up like so. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure this stuff snaps into place. Like so. I still say keep the um keep these out till till the very end. Um what you want to do next is you want to pull these out like so so you can get some clearance. And it's it's the exact almost like the exact same concept as um the main line. So you're gonna put the heel sport up like so. Do it on both sides. You want to make sure the leg is actually straight. Then you rotate here 180. So it's like so. Okay. And then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna want to keep this at keep this like a little bit of an angle. You're gonna turn these over like so. While you're doing that, you're going to go in. Like that. And then right there. Yeah, what I do is I tend to open this so I know exactly what's going on. There we go. And then you want to, well, before you do that, you're going to want to extend this out, which can be a little bit of a pain. There we go. Extend it like so. And then go like that. Alright, so now is when we get to do this. So you're going to pull it down like so. Make sure the arm is like this. Because there's this little tab right here that's going to connect onto this little peg right there. Uh, if I can find it. Oh, okay. Whoop. Why is that one not? Anyway, we'll deal with that here in just a few moments. Okay, and then you're going to want to. You basically want to give some of these like a little extra squeeze, like so. There we go. And then the stuff will fall into place, and sometimes that will cause the stuff to fall out of alignment, but that's okay. Why is it that you're not wanting to work? Oh. Wait, was it? Is 
Is that? Yeah. No, that's right. Okay. Do the same for over here. Make sure the tab is facing out. There we go. Okay. Yep, so. Yeah, so it's supposed to happen. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so you're going to do the exact same thing. Rotate it 180. Pull. Turn this around. And then you're going to start moving this up. Like so. And then you're going to extend that out and just start aligning stuff into place. And then move. What I do next is I tend to move this out of the way so I give more clearance. That one actually went easy. And then what you do next is you're going to want to do like so to where it actually plugs in like that. You're going to give everything a little bit of a squeeze. Make sure everything is good and tight. And last but not least, uh, the sword is going to go right about here. Whoops. Wow, you were really being stubborn, eh? Well, that's fine. There we go. All right. And then once you have that, here you have Nightbird in her vehicle mode. Alrighty, so here we have Nightbird in her vehicle mode, and I gotta say, it actually looks really cool. Now, this car mode looks a lot better than the other one. And, you know, I mean, for all intensive purposes, like, you know, if you can only afford the uh, the cheaper one, then that's fine. But if you have the extra money, go ahead and purchase this one up because this one is a lot more accurate to the uh, to the CGI models of Niper than compared to the other one. So. Um, Yeah, detail actually looks really, really cool in this. Um, as I was saying earlier, there is a Terracon symbol. If I can actually get it to focus. Right there. Right, whoops. There. That actually looks cool. I like how they decided to add that into the, um, to the concept. All right, let me bring that up. There we go. Um, it actually rolls really well. Um, so far, there's no problems with it. Um, 
all the tires are smooth so yeah rolls really well so there is that alrighty so I guess now it is time for the comparisons so first and foremost I want to get this one out of the way here's what the mainline one looks and here's what the studio series one looks like like I said for I maintain this one this one is my definitive version of Nightbird that I'm going to be keeping I'm most likely going to give give away that one to somebody so um, who knows I might actually do like a a little giveaway um, the giveaway originally for the uh, Scourge and Optimus Prime one has been cancelled unfortunately so I am not so I'm unable to give those ones out however I will begin another one in Dooner and giving that one away so I'll let you know more about that when the time comes so there is that one here we have the counterpart in Raz the Beast Autobot Mirage <clears throat> And here for a little shot, here we have Nightbird, Battle Trap, and Scourge. And I gotta say, that actually looks kind of cool. So, do I recommend Studio Series Nightbird? Without a shadow of a doubt, I do because for one, yeah, she has like a really big, funky backpack. Like I said, for they have to go somewhere. And you know, this actually completes the trio of the Studio Series Terracons, which unfortunately I thought I had a uh, freezer, and I'm pretty sure I have him, but I don't know where he's at. So I have I don't want to worry about looking for him. But, you know, she is well worth the price. And, you know, if, you, if you're like me and want to complete the, uh, the specials, then, find, then I say look for all three of them and, you know, go from there. But beyond that, everybody, that's about it for today's review. So I want to say thank you for tuning in. And this is the Bronco Knight saying till our one. And you never give up on your dreams because one day it may come true. Thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you guys next time.